so as I, <coughs> I mentioned in, in, in one of the videos that I put up, and I, I sent it out to some, some friends of mine and some great players. And it came from a, a pianist that I, I work with uh, and play with, Sergei Kazimov, <coughs> who played with Buddy Rich, by the way. And uh, so he said, because he, he likes to, he, I've been showing him some things in terms of how to hold the sticks, because he's, he's interested. And he knows about Freddie Gruber and Richard Wilson, and he's kind of into it. And uh, <clears throat> so he's into technique, and he's very intellectual. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> so he sent me th this uh, uh, video of uh, Seymour Bernstein teaching a student. And so there are a bunch of takeaways, but the one that I'll mention now is, and the student is asking a lot of questions, but he's asking because he's teaching himself and he plays on a high level. And he's talking about tension in the arms and how, how, to, make, how to make a motion. I'm paraphrasing very loosely, but <clears throat> so Seymour says, uh, master teacher, kind of like the Murray Spivak and Richard Wilson of that instrument, the piano. <laughs> and so he says, you see, if you, if, if you go up with the wrist like this, so he's got no stick in his hand when he's doing this. You know, he's teaching piano, of course he's got no stick in his hand. And he does this, you might wanna, you might, might wanna just kind of join in here, but yeah, and he says, he's on a piano. He says, and you, I'm trying to get an angle here. And he says, and you, and you go up like this. Your, he talks about the lever arm. He says, your lever is only going from here to here. He says, the longer your lever is, the more control you'll have. So, he said, you see what happens? See? Now the lever goes from here to here. Not to here, but to here. And he said it might be akin, you can imagine it perhaps, as being like one really long finger or fingers. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Right, so that's just another way to can consider these things that I've been discussing with you in terms of making motions. <clears throat> All right? Wonderful stuff. And uh, it's, that is I'll, I'll try to I'll, I'll try I'll try to find it and send it to you. It's interesting that is applied to different instruments. Okay. When you when you when you were uh, playing Arco, this is the thing. You're leading with the wrist. Dick Wilson would talk about the Dick was a violinist, played Carnegie Hall at the age of nine, playing Brahms' violin concerto. And so he talked about the, that motion being part of how you play the violin. So yeah, it does transfer to other instruments. Okay, so we were working on, <coughs> pardon me, we were working on the, the just really simple things. You know, we've been, we go forward and then we'll just take a step back if there seems to be a problem and we'll get back into a fundamental that you might not be interpreting. And uh, interpreting properly. And so we had you working on Peg and the uh, well, the alternating clamps and alternating drags. Then we worked on the compound stroke number two, okay, which has a positorism and, and 16th note triplets, right? Well, the next page in the legendary Murray Spivak Library, Murray Spivak Percussion Studio <coughs> Library, the next stroke is on page 15, and that's the 25th rudiment. And it's going to incorporate some of the things. Obviously, that's the chronology of, that's the genius of, of Murray and, and, and Dick Wilson's teaching is they have this chronology. 
Right? And this got to give it up to Murray Spivak. Seven basic strokes. He went and created a chronology so that one street stroke leads to a ne the next stroke, which is a little more difficult, and so on and so forth. Each 15, 25th through humans. Hmm. <laughs> Not defined. It. Okay, so we, we had. Uh, Okay, so if you take a look at it, you'll see once again, like the stroke previous, the uh, compound stroke number two, we 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 uh, don't have we don't have triplets. We definitely have. The appoggiatura. Okay. And we have an accent. And in the compound stroke number two, there's an accent. It's a little different. So you see that we have <clears throat> again, we're gonna we're gonna be using a very specific technique with regard to how to play this, because there's lots of different ways we could play this. Okay. So yeah, you see that there's an a left appoggiatura. And then you have two sixteenth notes, right, left. And then you have a right accent, right? So uh, there's got to be an upstroke there somewhere. Where is that upstroke? Uh, first right. There you go. Metronome, feel your way. Now, I want you to no notice when I stop, and again, for all of us, this is a, a, a work in progress that goes on. Like a, a violinist, he plays long tones his entire life. It's, it's part of waking up every day. <laughs> it's part of the routine, okay? So what, what we want to do is we want to come back to the floor. You're somewhere like this. So what you want to do, and I want your arms to be as relaxed as possible. So what we want to do is find that floor. We want to let everything go. Ah, it's 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 hard to stop because you just want to play. And what does this have to do with anything? And then you're going to come on up and find that comfortable, the most comfortable place on earth. Right, so a little higher than your left. Your arms are just hanging by your side, right? Okay. And then you're just going to play a double in the left. This pad is quite angled right. Got to get a universal omniball stand. So, or, or this, or this. We want trying to come back to the floor. Okay, so we're just going to play the first iteration, starting with the left depository. Okay. 
So put your metronome on it. 40, 46. <clears throat> make little adjustments as we go along. <clears throat> and this is this is as we progress together, your your see your your downstroke has gotten a lot better, right? But we're gonna refine it a little more because I'm 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 a little worried that you're doing this. You're shoving down and, and what we don't we we don't want to get the energy that is we, we don't want to get the energy by shoving. Dick would say that all the time. The arm falls as you turn your wrist. So we're just we're just letting we're just letting it fall. So take the stick out of your hand for a second. And just copy, and just copy me. Okay. Nope. Put your hand on your leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you're just going to come on up. Right. And you're going to turn and let it fall. Yeah. So you don't have to. Now this time, just for fun, using your bicep muscle, push the forearm down. Yeah. So you don't do that. That's not a wrist here. Yeah, right, it's watch. You, you're going to, as you begin to cock your wrist, the elbow starts to come in, right? And you're gonna to start to see the forearm come down, and then you're gonna finish it with the wrist. Try it, try it. But remember what we said, think about Seymour, Bernstein. There's your big long finger. There is your, there is your lever arm from here, <clears throat> Raph, from here, all the way to here. See? You can see it. Yeah. And then you're just going to turn your wrist. You got to turn your wrist. Think think of the torque. Right? Like you're you're really watch. You you've got to lift you've got to lift up. It's a, if you did have a stick and you're lifting this everything up. If you lift Well, I, you know, I, I, I'm in the mood to go and How can I do that real quick without having to? Huh. Huh. Look, if, if I had a, if I had a, like a broom, I was holding on to the end of a broom. <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm making stuff up. And, I, and I, I left the end of the broom on the floor or on a practice pad. It's, 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 a, new, it's a new instrument I've created. Uh, and, and, and you were to do this and bring, bring the end of the, the handle of the broom up. Um, and, and then you're holding on and, and go ahead and hold on to the broom handle. I don't mind. Just hold on to the broom handle. You can hold it a little. Okay. Now, if you were to lift, imagine how heavy that would be if you lifted it up from your wrist. It would pull. No, watch, watch, what? It would be so heavy oh, as you lifted it. Your the rest of the arm would countervail. Don't you feel how heavy it is? It's forcing the arm to countervail. More like that. See, that's the torque. Where you're is imagining you're lifting up all this weight. Okay. Okay, so, so go ahead and just try make a downstroke. There. So you didn't shove. You turned there. It rolls down. Or Richard Martinez says it un here, here's a Richard Martinez. He says it just uncoils. It uncoils. Right? It's just gonna uncoil. It is going to you can see it, can't you? Uncoiling. Okay, good. So keep playing. Metronome up 46. Just keep that in mind. Mm 
watch where you're playing. You want to be on a dime, so to speak. As close to that as possible. At least on a quarter. Yeah, see, show me where the six would be when you stop. That's a little higher. Uh, that's right. We're we're like yeah, we're that intense right now. We're that uh, detailed in our, our our thinking. There you go. See, yeah, good. You don't need to move very much, do you? There's not a lot going on. The rice is going up, down, up, down, and left's going da 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 da. Right? That's all it is. Now go the other way. I want to always come back to our resting point. This is what it should feel like when you finish. I want you to, this, this is another thing that might seem somehow superfluous, but it isn't. Get Feel this feeling in your hand. Feel that feeling? It's kind of it's laying in the hand, isn't it? It's just laying there. It is. I, I could take I could take the other fingers off, and then you'd have this feeling. And or I can or I could wrap my fingers just underneath and create a position. They're not clenching. They're on the stick. Right. That's all it is. That's the feeling we want after we, whenever we come back to the floor. It's that feeling, you see? Both hands have that feeling stick lying in the hand. If that goes away, it means you're doing so. Watch what you're playing. Metronome on, playing it the other way now. So just think about the way the stick feels in the hand. It's lying in the hand, isn't it? Go ahead and play that little arpeggiatura, just the arpeggiatura. It would be in the right. No, yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Now, how does it feel in the hand? Look, you stop. After you've played your two notes, does it feel like it did when you didn't play? Yeah, it kind of looks like it does. That's, that's the feeling. Now, what's the other, what's the other hand going to play? What's the other hand going to do next? OK, stop, stop. It almost feels, well, you're not at the floor yet, so go ahead and make a downstroke. Let's keep this simple. Go ahead and make a downstroke. Because, see, you're a little high. It doesn't quite feel like it did before you started playing. So what should it feel like? What should the left feel? No, no, yeah, no, no. Show me what it should feel like. No, I just want you to memorize. We're talking left now. I want you to memorize this feeling. Right? Because you're going, you're, you're making a tap, and then you're going, ah, and it should have that feeling again. It should be right in the same place with the same feeling. That shouldn't go away. Go on, make a downstroke. Not there, the downstroke. I want it to feel like that. Your downstroke, boom. Up ah, there, see? How's it feel in the hand? Is it laying in the hand? And the right. Does it feel like it's just laying in the hand, like when you weren't playing? Good. Okay, go ahead and play the stroke at 46. With that in mind, and no shoving. Those are the two considerations right now. Go ahead and play it. Keep it going. Now watch your right. There. Let's see. Look, look, look at my right. Da da ah ah. Da da ah ah. Da da. And wait, look, look, look. Back at the look. I go da da ah. It is waiting. Da da. Waiting. Ah. It's waiting. Da da. Waiting. 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 You kind of keep yours moving. Uh, see, does it ever wait? I think it's slow enough. Da da ah, yeah, da da ah. Da 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 ah, da da ah. While this hand is playing its first note, 
which is an upstroke. This hand is waiting. I want to see your hand waiting. Try. Not up in the air, at the floor. Yeah, well, yeah, but you have to play the other hand. Because as your other hand may see up, it's waiting. There, no, didn't wait. There, there. But play it even, turn off your metronome for a second. I'm just going to do this. Ba ba ba. I'm the ba ba ah. Ba ba ah. Ba ba ah. Ba. Just do this. Just do da da up. And then you're right. Now you have to start at the floor on the left. It never stopped, did it? Huh. Interesting. Uh, let, let me let me make sure I know what I'm talking about. Ah <laughs> okay. uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Yeah, see, it stops right there. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. See, my right's not moving. Ah 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 ah! And now start moving again. Da, uh, not moving. Not moving. Not moving. Not moving. There you go. There you go. You gotta use the other hand. So just go da da bop. Yep, you lift it up right away. Yeah, just go da da bop. Dada up. Dada up. There. Now your right isn't moving. That's what it's doing. Now you're going to make. Dada up. Dada up. Now you're going to make another tap in your right. Go on, make a little tap. And it's waiting and make your downstroke. That's what it does. It waits, spends as much time waiting as it does playing. There you go. Waiting. That's waiting. There you go. Waiting. Ah, didn't wait. You went dada and lifted it right up. Dada, waiting. Dada, wait. Uh -huh. uh, wait. Well, watch how long it can wait. It's waiting all that time before it makes the tap. You go like this. You go. And I want dada, ah. Dada, ah, waiting. Dada, ah, waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting, wait. Mm. Waiting, wait, slow down even more until you can feel that. Wait, where's it waiting? Look, you're too close to the surface. You're supposed to be a half an inch. It has to wait at the floor with that feeling in your hand I told you about. I'm kind of giving you the technique. It really at the floor. It might seem like a hassle. But that's what this technique is all about. Once you get it, it'll, it'll feel much better. There you go. Oh. Waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting. There you go. Do that in the other hand. Up. Oh. That didn't wait. Wait it up. Oh. Wait it up here. Waiting, waiting. There it is. See, you're nice and flat. It's stable. You're not moving the stick unnecessarily. That's not efficient. We don't need to move the stick. If we don't need to move the stick, we ain't going to move the stick. We're going to relax. Maybe yeah. order maybe order takeout. Well, one we hand is not doing anything. You know? Let's see what you mean, yeah. Okay. Okay, metronome back at, put the metronome on at 40. Let's slow it down to 40 just to give you that feeling. You see, this is what I mean about the idea of about playing slowly. You can play fast and get it out. Oh. Where are you playing? Are you in the center? Yeah. There it is. Well, you are now. Come on. You're, show me how far your sticks are going to be apart. Decide. Show me. Stop and play. See, they're like two and a half inches apart. Where are they? Where do you really want them? Show me your actual floor. See, you've got that triangle, don't you? That's the foundation of your house. That's a, that's your foundation. And then we're going to build up from there. Right? That's your foundation. Your house is going to fall over, dude. Yeah. Now you have a found there. And it's waiting. That's correct. Yeah, look how relaxed you are. Look, there's not much to do. There's nothing to do. You don't need to move things around. Right? So let your sticks fly, fly apart. Remember your foundation. Right? 
if you're building a skyscraper, you're going to have a lot of people bugged if that thing doesn't hold together. And I thought, you, I thought your little uh, appoggiatura was kind of just, eh, yeah, it's okay. You can make a little turn. What was I doing? Yeah, you can make a little turn. Uh, it's, it's this hand that making the up that just plays from. from okay. So now you're playing it. Okay. So now you're playing the thing at half speed, which is kind of cool. Maybe we need to do that. I think so. Yeah, actually. Uh, okay. Now, uh, 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 can you can you double? What would happen if you did? Let's find out. Or maybe we need to creep up slowly. Da 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 ba da 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 da. We're playing it loud. Look how far your sticks are apart. Foundation. Up at that da. See. You know, you'll notice Raph is still waiting at this speed. Waiting. Rest, 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 now you've had this, so you've already had it today, but you had it really beautifully, it's more slowly. But I notice what I'm doing is, I'm going, we were on the second iteration. Uh -uh. I'm playing from, I'm actually playing from here. Look. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even turning to the ceiling. I'm staying real low. Try, try playing your uh, appoggiatura and the note following in the same hand. From there it is. Look how far your sticks are apart. You lost your foundation. Foundations come apart. There you go. You'll be out of tune. You won't be playing in the center of the drum. <clears throat> it has to be in the same place every time, every note. Okay, now play it at uh, play it at half the speed. Probably not. Lost the idea of playing the uh, appoggiatura and the note following. Now you're right from parallel. Where, where's the rest? Look how slow it is. You're still not resting in the right. Nope. Nope. It's got a rest. There, there. Just go da da. Go da da. No, leave the left out for a minute. And just go da da. Dada. There, see it's resting. Do it again. Turn from parallel. Dada. And then make another tap. Da. Rest. Dada. Rest. Da. Dada. Rest. Da. Dada. Rest. Da. Dada. Rest. Da. Probably play faster there than you would than you were just a second ago. See, it stops. Dada. Rest. Da. Yes, you weren't doing that. Dada has to rest that way. No, you don't lift it up right away. Go slower. Dada. Da. Dada. Look at resting. Dada, rest, don't, oh, didn't rest. You lifted it up right away. And you're not going to lift it up. It goes dada and rests, and then you're going to turn for another one from parallel. There it is. Dada, ah, uh, I do it even slower. Dada, ah, uh, 
Da, da. Watch, watch. Cause copy me. Da, da. Da. Da, da. Da. Da, da. Da. Da, da. Da. Yeah, a lot of resting at that speed. Da. Yeah, you spend more time resting than playing, probably. Right? Da, da. Resting. Da. Resting, resting, resting. Da, da. Rest, rest, rest. Da. And then it really rests. Da-da, rest briefly, and then it's now making your tap. Now it's really going to rest. Da, that's it. Okay, you got it. So we need to play these. We need to play really slowly. You're play, playing into an eighth note. So is, is, that, is that what we're doing? Da, 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 da. Okay, so. so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're better at half speed. That makes more sense for you. Okay, this is this is just and mellow. Not trying to blow everybody away. This isn't about the ego and any of that stuff. We're just like calmly piecing this thing together. Okay, so now we're going to play the last iteration, and that goes back and forth. The last. Okay, so whichever hand you want to look at, watch. See all the resting? Just watch my left. Resting, 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 resting. Up. See all the resting? You just, I'm really down here, aren't I? I'm really here. Spending a lot of time resting. Okay? One more time. Consider the resting. We're going to play those little notes from parallel. So everything's really being played from parallel, isn't it? You got your up from parallel. We're keeping this thing real low right now. And we're looking for that resting potential. See, your right just wants to lift up right away. So you need to work on that. There. there. We'll focus on the right resting. It, it's, it's here that you forget to rest. Watch. Thinking of the right, right? You instead of going da da and resting, well, this hand does this da da ah, see da da and it rests. Well, this hand's playing its upstroke. This is not moving. Da da rests. See, so you don't do that. You go. See. See what you mean. So try that. Just, just go da da ah. No, oh, just da da up. The da da and the up. Now you gotta play the up and the left. Play the up and the left. And rest. No, see? Just the up and stop. No, you're not playing the up. Da da up. Da da up. Stop. Good. Look, your right isn't moving, is it? Do it again. Come back down. Get, nope, get parallel. You have to start at the floor or you'll have no room to travel down. Nope, you lift it up. I don't want you to lift up. There, look, the right's resting. That's what you don't want to feel. There it is. See, up. No, you're not going to lift up. You're, you're not going to lift up again. You're just going to go down for your next note. After you, while you're resting, after you finish. There you go. Now you're going to go down and rest. Down, in the right. Uh, yeah, right. In the right. Uh, yeah, that's what it does, right? <laughs> da da. So it goes da. Goes da da up, and then the right. Is going to play from its resting point. There, that's what you need to work on. 
Okay. Just, see, that's it. It's just unfamiliar to you. You can do it. Oh, everything is so hard. You can actually do it well. I mean. Just me bitching about me. Don't ignore it. Man. No, drummers are, you know, known for. <laughs> Feeling is, well, why can't I just have fun and play? Which I get. But this this can be fun too. That's why playing jazz is so much fun. It's just so much of a challenge. Smart, interesting, talented people want to be challenged now. Okay. Hey, let's keep going. Okay, that's good. So now there is one more iteration, right? And this is going to be a little different. So we're going to play it with no metronome. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. OK. So what's the difference between the 25th rudiment and compound stroke number one? Well, you have four sixteenths in a row, but we're not at compound stroke number one. Is that what you're looking at right now? No. Okay. <laughs> it is With, like exactly the same writing. Well, it's different though, isn't it? The first bar looks the same, but look at the second bar. Ah, OK, yay, right. Go on back to the 25th rudiment. Don't jump ahead too much, although right. I know it's, it's exciting. We're going to take a peek at the end of Murray's library. And may someone then okay. be the end of the book before we should. Well, you see, now you're nice and low. But are you playing it right? Let me see, what are you doing? You're playing the 25th rudiment. OK, so your 25th rudiment <laughs> looks like that. But what we're trying to do is now we have different sticking. Don't you see? Uh, 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 uh. So, it's, so we have an appoggiatura to a double. Now the appoggiatura is the up. How are we going to play that? But you're not playing the stroke. Okay, watch. So we're just going to play the first half. We're just going to go. Are you saying compound stroke uh, or 25th? Rip, you see the 25th rudiment has a second bar? Yep. Okay, we're playing that second bar. Oh, right. So okay. a different sticking. So you've got two rights now that are rebounding. No, no, no. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -da. So just do this. Just do this. Oh, uh, well. Just do this. Da -da -ba -ba. Um, um. Oh, almost. Do it again. Yeah. Yeah. See? There you go. Now, now this time make the uh, the pagetor up. There you go. I'll go the other way. <laughs> there you go. You got it. Well, it goes two ways though. It keeps going back and forth. Sand down. Um, it's kind of like a double and then an accent kind of. Good, Ralph. Good. Good. Okay. See? Uh, okay, let's see. Um, So it's, it's as if you're playing what it's as if you're playing instead of 16th notes to eighth notes. It's just it's as if you're playing eighth notes to quarter notes. Yeah. Right. So now a 16th note becomes an eighth note and an eighth note becomes a quarter note. 
now you're at that half speed. Okay, so now that's, but, but where were you here? Let's see. Uh, 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 that's really slow, but it's cool. It's cool. Now for this, because there are two rebounds, not a positive that are that are actually sixteenth notes. Not an appoggiatura, that's different. It's not a grace note. There are grace notes. So we're, we're getting ah, 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 ah. So now we're at regular speed. See if you can play it. Which you just did, so I know you can do this. Okay? We're going to play it as written. The other was very in a, at a tempo that is very remedial, but totally cool for you, right? You'll just come back playing it wrong. We'll have to go through this whole thing again. And we're going to try not to turn our wrists. What, see how far your sticks are apart? Look at your foundation. It's a pyramid. Your pyramid power is uh, not consistent. Isn't it? See, you've got a pyramid here. See, this is what? Math? So I'm, I'm just going to interrupt for a sec because this is kind of something that is becoming more obvious to me. I've noticed it before, I've mentioned it before, but now I'm going to start busting on it. We don't play here. Our foundation isn't this. Our foundation is what we decide it's going to be. I thought we decided that it's going to be here because we're playing on a dime or a quarter, right? So our 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 foundation is going to look like this. That's our foundation. That can never go away. That can't go away. Nope, too far apart. You have to decide. Come bring them down, figure out what the arms are going to do. There it is. Now bring that up. Probably bring it up from the forearm or something. Yeah. Oh, they spread apart. Look at them. Look at the tips. <laughs> there they are. Oh, God, I have tips on my sticks. That that used to be that's how guys would compliment drummer symbol time back in the beginning. Have you heard that? Have you have you heard that one? Hey man, hey you got great tips, man. You've got great tips. Uh, this is such a misery. I hate drumming, man. <laughs> Come on, bring it up. Keep it there. There you up. Oh, don't let them spread. They don't need to separate. Yeah, come on down. There's your foundation. Yeah, there you go. That's cool. OK, you got that now. Yes, this feels different, doesn't it? Now, now you're really establishing because this stuff isn't just like. To, to be. Blown off. This idea of a floor, this foundation, it's like a huge deal for this technique. OK, so keep, pay attention, OK? Metronome on. Metronome on at 40, and you're going to play it in real time. As written. I regret drumming. This is a whole mistake. <laughs> now it's Believe me, I, I know. I know. It's too hard, but it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm waiting until you carry your drums. Screw. Um, screw good technique. Screw all this. Happy, happy. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Screw good technique, screw playing with rhythm, screw sounding good, man. It's not worth it, man. I'm telling you. It's too much work. I, I really? Well, there are other professions. Be a very good lawyer, I'm sure. Enough whining. Yeah. A little turn. You've already done this. You played it correctly. And you're going to need to get just a little momentum for a double because I know it's slow. Ah, uh, ah, uh, watch. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we're doing this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, not two wristers. Da-da. Let's, let's, let's do this. Da-da. Yeah, just this. You can keep them up. There you go. There you go. One turn, two notes. That's good, Raph. There. That's it. And then it, and then it does that. Now the other hand is going to get those two notes like on a rebound. 
Is it, uh, those are different doubles, right? One is you start from the four and just do this. And the other one is actually a third. Uh, actually, the first double is an up. The appoggiatura is an up. Right, exactly, well, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I understand. That's, you need to think about that. You're just going to get that little double with an up before it. That's actually a good way of putting it. Yes, not the other way. Yeah, yeah, it is because the second note is going to be an upstroke. Got to keep it going though, it doesn't stop like that. It goes da 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 Try not to get it on the wrist, but that's okay. good. You almost are so close. And um, so so the so from the from the top so so oh well wow, from that bit so the first two lefts are just turning to the floor no that's an up and yes an up often turns from the floor you don't even think about it. and on the other hand while the while the one end is making the up the other is just doing that little turn for a double you got to do now just go the other way i know it takes this is the I understand. I had to learn this stroke too. You're not the only one. But you already see that this has helped your play. There you go. So this is establishing a nice. It seems, it's, but it's not, man. I don't know why it's so hard to execute, man. No, this is this is a little tricky. This stroke. I I, I get it. This one isn't really meant to be blown at major speeds. This is this is something that oh. is about coordination, about control of the rebound. And then it just goes the other way. That's all it is. You got it, dude. Yeah, you got it. And I know you're just going to need to spend some time, whatever. Okay, whatever tea you guys are drinking there these days in the UK, you get out your twinings, <laughs> a splash of milk, because you're sophisticated. Ah, uh, spoon milk. I'm not. I'm not English, mate. I'm not English. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the, the what is it? The platinum jubilee. I thought you had to have milk in your tea. Yeah, you probably do. On the platinum jubilee, you probably do. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> you want to fit in. Okay, so good. So we just went through a bunch of stuff, right? That's like four iterations of the 25th rudiment. And you learned a lot. Now, let's just continue on for another sec here. Okay. All right, so what, what I noticed was that your, your double, because typically guys have real problems, like you did in the beginning, but you just want to turn twice, right? Yeah. And at the speed you could. Good turn, but or we can let it bounce. Yeah. Okay, so if we're doing that, so how it's trying to come up with a way to get us into doubles now. So because you got this. If you could do that, creative ways to connect something you've just felt through a stroke into something else that are, you know, doubles and roll strokes are like our skills and arpeggios. We got to get that double. It's the, it's the double that you're looking for. There it is. Let it, you got to let it bounce. 
going to be slower, isn't it? Look at the speed of the double. You have to measure on this. Might be too slow. Slow. I'm, I'm challenging on this double. Ba 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 ba. It's pretty slow double. That's pretty slow. But you were doing it. No, no, it's slower. Da da ba ba. Listen. And a dot dot ba da da dot dot. Dot, 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 dot is the speed of the doubles. It's pretty slow. No, no, now you're playing the original iteration of the 25th rhythm. You got to get the rebound. Dot, 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 dot. Where's the little rebound? Nope, oh, there's a rebound in the right. It starts with a rebound in the right, two notes. Nope, the left is the up. We're working on the stroke we just worked on, the fourth iteration. Fourth iteration. Oh, What's it's working on with the with the double in the right and the, there it is. That yeah. that's right double. That's the speed of your doubles. Now go the other way. Now play. Da da da. No, so it's da da. da no, so I see what I mean. I see what I mean. I see what I mean. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, maybe this, maybe, maybe this, maybe this isn't the right idea. Let's see, let's see. So you were playing double square. Okay, put the metronome on at 60. I'm abandoning the exotic Richard Wilson approach to, you know. Bless Richard Wilson, man. I'm going to keep this simple right now. He's rolling from the grave right now, man. Be careful with that. <laughs> Okay. No more. Not, no, none of these. Uh, you know, the quarter uh, quarter note equals uh, a dotted. Uh, oh, you can do it. Ah, huh. pretty good, Ralph. And you're just going to keep the doubles going. Like a five stroke roll, really, almost. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, ah, Okay, so what we're, just, you, we're just going to use that to get in. Now you're digging the stroke. Yeah, I mean, now you're a big fan of the stroke. And it's nice, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like a five stroke roll, right? Kind of sounds like a five stroke roll. Okay, well, whatever works for you. But, so let's just let's yeah. get this going here. So we got this. Doubles, but it's cool. It's kind of neat to start off that way, isn't it? When you're ready, play doubles at that speed. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, it's slower than you think. Da, 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 da. That's how it is. Let it bounce. What happened to your foundation? Where's your pyramid's foundation? There you go. Good. Now, good, good. 
do that again. Play, play, play that. Play the twenty-fifth uh, rudiment fourth iteration. Just have fun with it. Get to feel it. Now play doubles. Ah, one, one second, one second. So hold on, hold on. Uh. No, no, you have to play the double. Da 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 da. The right for double. There it is. Just play doubles at that speed. Da 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 and then we're going to a five stroke roll. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, we created a cool little chart. Once you get into doubles, playing a five stroke sheet. It's interesting. It kind of sounds also in an awkward way like a Brazil. Yeah, but, uh, but no, no, you gotta, you gotta play the, the, there it is. No, 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 no. So just, just keep this really simple. It's just the 25th rudiment, fourth iteration. Ah, 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 Then when you're ready, you're gonna play doubles. And when you're ready, and you feel like you're ready to, to uh, play row strokes because your doubles are here. So now you're just playing doubles. Come on, join me. Okay. We're playing doubles at the speed of the 25th rudiment with iteration. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Now go back to the 25th rudiment with iteration. After the accent, you're going to go back to it. Now, fourth iteration. So it'll go like this. It'll go like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, 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 Then five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. When you're ready, you're going to go back. Ah, 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 ah. I'm not sure you can get the uh, one more of this. See if we can get up to 72. See if you can play the 25th rudiment, uh, fourth iteration at 72. Kind of impressive, Rob, right? that you can play it at 60. No, not bad. That's a bit of a tricky show. It's your new favorite stroke, doubles. Doubles at that speed. Play the doubles at that speed. At the speed of the double you're playing. Da 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 da. No, 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 no. It's going to sound like this. <laughs> so now I blew it. Turn your metronome off. Thank you. Nice. Ah, 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 
And you're going to five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you go back, ah, 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 back to the 25th chord iteration. Da, 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 Back to the 25th, fourth iteration. Uh, oh! <laughs> well, we're going to leave it there, but I know you can, I know you got this. And you got it up to 72. Yeah, Ralph. You created a cool little. Painful this. this I created a little exercise inspired by you. You know, students take, can sometimes take you in an interesting direction. And, the fact that you were able to get that that double in the 25th rudiment fourth iteration to work meant that you were ready you were ready to play doubles on the rebound at that speed which was pretty slow it takes real control and then you were able to get it up to 72 right okay. we're, we're at like the we're we were at 60 yeah. and then right because we're playing it in real time at 40 then we went to 60 and you could play it then we went to 72. Yeah. So you played as written, 40, 60, 72. And it's so slow. Maybe at 40, it's going to be uncomfortable to play doubles and roll strokes. No, right. at, 60, at 60, you're in, the, you're in the potential realm of rebounds. Yeah. And so you're going to play rolls. You're going to turn the 25th, fourth iteration into, into doubles at that speed. And then at the speed of the doubles in that stroke, and then you're going to turn those doubles into the five stroke chord. Yeah. Okay, we're going all the way up to 72. Okay, turning it off. Mission accomplished. <laughs>